Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, March 5th, 2011. This week, holy paper, Batman! Here's a fun way to use pattern paper differently in Photoshop and Elements. Begin by opening a new document in Photoshop or Elements. I've opened a document and given it a gold background. And then open a piece of patterned paper. For this technique, I found that patterned papers with high contrast and not a lot of texture work best. Get the Move tool and drag the patterned paper onto your document. Holding the Shift key as you click and drag will center your patterned paper on your other document. And then you can close your patterned paper. I'm going to go ahead and dock this and then press Control T or on a Mac system Command T to get the transform controls. This places a box around your document. Position your cursor in the corner and when it changes into a diagonal line with an arrow on each end, you can drag in toward the center of the page to make your pattern paper a little smaller than your background paper. In the full version of Photoshop, you'll need to add the Shift key to maintain the aspect ratio. And then click the check mark to confirm the size change. I'm going to go ahead and position this about in the center of my document. Add a drop shadow to the pattern paper using your favorite method. I like to use Katie Pratit's drop shadow actions, so I'll just go ahead and add a drop shadow that way to mine. Next, get the magic wand tool and uncheck contiguous here in the options bar. Click on an element of your paper. I'm going to click on the stars because that's the part I want to delete. Now when I clicked on one star, I can now see the marching ants surrounding everything on the paper that's the same color. Press backspace or delete on your keyboard to delete the selection. Now your paper looks like Swiss cheese but cuter. I'll zoom in so you can get a close-up view of what it looks like when the pattern paper has been cut. Adding the drop shadow is giving your paper a little dimension and it makes it appear as though your punched out paper is glued on top of your background. Finish up by adding photos and embellishing your page. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements Tip of the Week.